Good, you know, I mean, definitely won the battle as much as I did, you know, following behind some guys. Um, 2-0, 3-0, had three walks tonight, which uh, that's what I've been trying to, you know, get away from. You know, one came back to hurt me with when I gave up the two-run home run, but um, for the most part, you know, put, got on some bad counts, came back and battled through it, uh, got through six. I mean, could have went out there for the seventh, I think, the you know, seven-day break kind of played in with that a little bit, but uh, got through six to give a chance to win. Did the shoes play a role? <laughs> um, anytime you do something like that, you know, for your family or for a good cause, I think they play a role. You know, you want to go out there and, you know, do some good things with them on and, you know, support them the right way. Uh, but, um, yeah, I mean, definitely you feel like you're you're doing something special for somebody special in your life and they have some kind of impact on, you know, the game. I didn't want to wear them and abuse them too much. I, I told my family I was going to do three innings and, um, you know, get them out, get them authenticated and, you know, send them home to my mom. But, um, they definitely play a role in kind of how you go out there and, you know, be emotional about it. But, uh, it was, it was a good one. Hector, how are you feeling about the offense giving you uh, leads to work with? I love it. You know, as I said, I was like, once, once uh, Bargy, you know, got that broken bat in the head up the middle and then uh, came back with a three-run home run later on, it's like, all right, now we got some time to play. You know, we can, uh, we can pitch and, you know, make some, make some pitches. But uh, it's, it definitely takes some weight off your back when you know you're going out there and you got a four-run lead. How did the, mentally, how did the transition go for you from being away from baseball for yeah, that was tough. You know, um, you, you still work. You know, you're working. You throw every day. You throw a bullpen, but not being on the field and not having, you know, that a stadium wrapped around you and your teammates wrapped around you for you know, getting ready for a game or throwing in the bullpen where your your catcher's there, your um, pitching coach is there. Um, definitely, you know, mental mentally it was it was weird. It was like you come from, you know, playing catch in a little league field or high school field, and you come up and you got to face the big league guys. You know, the first day back. Um, so you definitely was wondering what's going to happen. You know, you, you go out there and play catch, but you know it's not the same intensity. You don't get the same, you know, pre work before you go out and play catch. But um, you know, I mean, now we're, we're back. We got the first one out the way. Get back on a five day rotation. Who did you throw to while you're out there? My brother. You know, I made sure my brother got home and he was going home for the whole same thing as me. Um, so he was my high, my high school catcher and my partner mm -hmm. forever. So he's uh, he's actually a coach up with the White Sox. And, uh, so he flew home and he played catch with me every day. What's your brother's name? Anthony Santiago. Anthony? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. You guys went to the old high school there? Right? Uh, yeah, we went to high school field and then we went to our, our little league field and played catch on the other days. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. What did you think of the catch that Bucks and Morgan Center in that type of game? Unbelievable. You know what's funny? Um, before the game, he comes up to me, he comes up to me and I got you. Don't worry about it. So um, I don't know if he called or predicted that play, but he knew he, he, knew he was going to do something special tonight before the game. Um, but I mean, you, you see him running, you see him tracking, and you're like, man, he's going, he's going. You think there's no chance, and all of a sudden he just lays out, and uh, it, it falls in his glove, and you just tip your head and like, man, you're, you're grateful he's out there. I know um, he's not doing everything he wants offensively, but I mean, if he can go out there and play that kind of center field every day, man, you can hit 160. <laughs> pitches, pitches aren't in line. You know, we, we, we wish you're hitting 300, and he does too, but. Um, if you go out there and you know, you know, struggling like that, and go out there and play that same kind of defense, that Gold Glove caliber defense, man. I mean, we'll take that every day.